Hello, in this video, we are going to compare between this is 18 power 16 against 16 power 18. We are going to find out which of these is the bigger number. So we can say, let this be A and this is B. Now, we are going to have A divided by B. And if A divided by B gives us a number that is greater than 1, that means A is greater than B. And if A divided by B gives us a number that is less than 1, that means A is less than B. So these conditions here will get us all through this video. So let's start by dividing A by B. So we have 18 power 16 divided by 16 power 18. Face us, we do the same thing here, 16 power 18, divided by 16 power 18. Now, this divide itself, so we are going to have 1. And that is what we are using to compare right here. So right now, we are going to concentrate on this, which is 18 power 16, divided by 16 power 18. And this equals... We can simply express 18 as product of 2 and 9. We have 2 times 9, that is 18. Raised to the power of 16, divided by. Then for 16, we can express it as you know, 16 equals 4 times 4. And 4 is a perfect square. That is 2 power 2 times 2 power 2. And 2 power 2 times 2 power 2 will give you 2 power 4. So 16 is 2 power 4. We have 2 power 4. There's 18 here. Raise 3 power of 18. Now from here, what we are going to do will be to apply this identity. For instance, if you have A times B raised 3 power of C, this equals A power C times B power C. So we can apply this identity right here. That means you are simply going to have 2 power 16 times 9 power 16 divided by 4 here. What you are going to do will be to apply this index law. A power n times n equals a power n times m. A power n or power m equals a power n times n. So we multiply 4 by 18 and that will give us 72. So we have 2 power 72. So right now, the next thing we are going to do will be to separate this. We can simply have this as 2 power 16, then divide it by 2 power 72 times this. We can have it as 9 power 16. Now, what we are going to do at this particular point is to concentrate on this. Then you can recall this identity. If you have a power n divided by a power m equals a power n minus m. So we apply this identity right here. That means what we are going to have will simply be this is 2 to the power of 16 minus 72. And then this will multiply 9 power 16. So what we are going to do next will be to subtract 72 from 16. So this will give us 2 power 16 minus 72 is negative 56. Then we have times 9 power 16. Now, if you have a power negative n, this equals 1 divided by a power n. So we apply this identity right here. Now what we are going to have will simply be, this will give us 1 divided by 2 power 56 times 9 power 16. So what we are going to do will be to multiply the numerator. So 9 power 16 times 1 will give us 9 power 16 divided by 2 power 56. So right now, what we are going to do again will be to consider 9, which is a perfect square. 
So we have nine in CPF square. So we can express this nine as three power two. That is three power two raised to the power of 16. Divided by this is two, three power of 56. And from here we have, now we can consider this identity, this exponent again. Remember, a power n raised to the power of n equals a power n times n. So we can apply this identity right here. So we are going to have 3 power 2 times 16. That is obviously 32. Okay, so we have 3 power 32 divided by because 2 times 16 is 32. We have 2 power 56. So from here, what we are going to do will be to express this particular 32 as product of 4 times 8. So we have 3 to the power of 4 times 8 divided by now in terms of 56, we can also express it as product of 7 times 8. We have to call 7 times 8. Now, so what we are going to do will be to apply the same index law. Remember, a power n times n equals a power n raised to the power of n. So we are going to apply the same thing here. That means we are going to have 3 to the power of 4. And this is raised to the power of 8. Then we have divided by. Now we have 2 to the power of 7. And this is also raised to the power of 8. So from here, we need to find the value of 3 to the power of 4. That is 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. And this is raised to the power of 8. Divided by 2 to the power of 7. That is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. And this is raised to the power of 8. So from here, what you are going to do will be to have 3 times 3, that is 9 times 3, 27 times 3, that is 81 to the power of 8, divided by 2 times 2, 4, 4 times 2, 8, 8 times 2, 16 times 2, 32 times 2. This is 64 times 2, that is 128. So you have 128 power 8. So right now we have reduced this to this particular form. And remember, the numerator was our A and this is our B. Now what are you going to do? If you have A power C divided by B power C, this equals A divided by B all to the power of C. So we can simply apply this identity here. That means we can simply have 81 divided by this is 128 and this is raised to the power of 8. So what are you going to do? Remember the numerator here is our A and the denominator here is our B. So this is A and this is B. Now it is obvious that the A is smaller than the B. That means if you divide it we are going to have a number that is less than 1. If you divide only what we have inside the bracket because the a is smaller than the b. So because of this, we can say that a is less than b, meaning that 81 is less than 128. Now going back to the original problem, remember we had 18 power 16 versus 16 power 18. And remember also that our a is actually 18 power 16 and b is 16 power 18. So if a is less than b, meaning that 18 power 16 is less than 16 power 18. So the bigger number is 16 power 18. So that is just it. And that is how we can actually do it without the use of calculator. And I believe you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe and share this video to your friends. Thank you and goodbye. So the bigger number right now is 16 to the power of 18. It is actually greater than 18 to the power of 16. So this is less than 16, 18 power 16 is less than this. So that is it. Thank you and goodbye.